Um, I believe it was one over for the event. Um, the final round, we had actually perfect conditions out at Fox Run. A little bit of wind to make it a little interesting, but overall it was sunny, um, the temperature was mild. Um, so I was just trying to go out there and play my game plan, which is relatively conservative as it is. And basically I started out pretty good, par, par, par with birdie looks. Um, and then I ended up uh, got, getting a birdie on hole four. And then we got to hole five, which is traditionally a difficult hole um, for me. And I had thought I had a conservative game plan. I just turned my disc over just a little bit and the, into the headwind and it just flipped. Um, and then, you know, then I'm throwing a really difficult approach shot that can also very easily go out of bounds. So I get it close to the green, almost make the putt, then it rolls down the hill. Um, and then I have to make this comebacker, which I did. So that was kind of a confidence builder, but I still took a five. Um, and then the next hole, I'm thinking in my head, okay, well, I can just get a stroke right back here. It's a perfect left to right, uphill, great for sidearm. Um, threw it really well in practice. Um, and then I, uh, I clipped the tree and it kicked me out of bounds. So then I took another, I, you know, I scrambled from there and took an, but took another bogey. Um, and then the next hole, um, I threw a decent tee shot, decent second shot. And then I got a little tentative on my third shot and it was out of bounds by like this much on the right side. Um, so then I'm getting another bogey. So I just went double, single, single in a, three in a row. And I think that's almost as many bogeys as I had the whole tournament prior to that. Uh, so I was like, oh my goodness, this is, this is getting bad. So the next hole I play for par anyway, uh, was no, nothing big, no big deal. The next hole is a really risky shot for me and I decided to take the risk. I threw a beautiful tee shot. I thought it was a lot closer, but I still, but I had like a 50 footer, ran the putt thinking I was going to make it. It rolls away just a little bit, but no big deal. Short the comebacker. Somehow I hit the cage. I'm like, and that, so there's another bogey just piling them on. And in the meantime, you know, Chris is playing pretty good. She's catching me. I mean, I think at that point she actually may have gotten within two. Um, next hole, she parks it. I miss an uphill putt, get a par. Next hole, um, I think we both par on the next hole. Um, and then the next hole, we also both par. So we're still really close and we're getting to the back six, which I really only have access to a couple birdies on the back six and they're really more difficult for a, a lefty or a, a, a sidearm. Uh, so anyway, we ended up par for, for um, that first hole of the six. And then the next hole, I actually threw one of the better shots I've thrown on that hole and I got the birdie and Kristen got kicked away um, on a tree kick and missed her putt from her long putt to get the birdie. Um, the next hole, I got another birdie. Um, then the next hole, I threw basically perfect shots and got my par. The next hole, I threw basically perfect shots and got my par. We're going into the last hole um, and I actually have a four stroke lead, but I actually think I only have a one stroke lead because the scoreboard, uh, I think it says my uh, plus, plus one for Rebecca, but it's actually a seven because they've written it in. Uh, so I actually <laughs> thought Rebecca was in contention also. We all throw our shots out of bounds except for Haley. Um, and then a couple of us throw them out of gap bounds again. I've managed to keep mine inbounds, chip up, lay up, take a double bogey to finish, but it was good enough. Uh, so it was a really pretty stressful round. There's a lot going on, um, but it was, uh, it was, I'm just really thankful that I was able to play well, really well the first three rounds and then hold on to it there at the end. Ladies and gentlemen, your 2019 Green Mountain Champion, Sarah Holcomb. So I left the left my Airbnb this morning. I left my lucky bracelets on the sink, and I almost went back and got them, but I was a little tight on time. So I was like, "No, I'll just they'll be with me in spirit, It'll be fine." And then as I started getting these like bad breaks and getting these bogeys, I was like, "I need my lucky bracelets." So Madison gave me her lucky pen, and then I needed some more luck later on. And I wrote, I draw, I drew a little um, four leaf clover on my hand. Um, and then Todd, the cameraman, he gave me this lucky rock. And I think it might have been the rock, honestly. So, I, I'm not really that superstitious, but anything I can do to kind of just calm my mind and just give me a little bit of hope is always a good thing.
You know, I've been I've been grinding it out all 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 season and not really getting wins at the Pro Tour or the National Tours. I've been playing pretty good, getting second place here and there, but a lot of fourth and fifth places. You know, the uh, the field is so deep right now that you know you really have to be on it. You know, there's no guarantee you're going to be in the top three or so, even if, if you don't play really really well. And you know, with my new lineup with MVP Disc Sports, it's just you know taking me time to kind of especially dial in those really touchy shots. Um, that take that just experience and um, you know getting them beat in a little bit the way you like them. Um, so that means a lot to me um, to win a big event with their discs because I really really love working with them. I love throwing their discs and I wanted to kind of prove to them a bit that um, that I can I can do great things with them. Um, and then also uh, this uh, I you know my my caddy and boyfriend Robin he had um, he had a seizure. Um, right before the second round, and which was extremely scary. He's never had one before. It was a reaction to some pain medication. Um, he's a one percent that gets them. Um, we didn't. We didn't. Have, we didn't know that. Um, and he like just dropped, hit his head, broke his broke a vertebrae in his back. So he's going to be laid up for a couple of months now. But he's been there for me for the last couple of years, and I've always, you know, he's just a really great guy, and I'm just so. This is. This is for Robin, you know. It's a testament to his his help and his support. He was texting me during the round, and that was great to have his support. And I know he was watching every bit of it. So thank you, Robin. This win is for you. I love you. <laughs>